Hey guys, welcome back to your PDC Geo video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at potentially a broken expanded deck, and that is going to be Chandelure VMAX. Now, Chandelure VMAX in standard, tried it out. It was okay, but in expanded, this card has so many more powerful tools to work with that it actually could be a pretty powerful deck. Now, the way we're going to play it is with Amistar today. Amistar states as long as you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, your opponent cannot play items. And if they are under item lock, they can't play those items from their hand. They sit there, and that means Chandelure can do more damage with Max Poltergeist, which will do 70 damage for each item in your opponent's hand. Or trainer, sorry. So, for each trainer in there, and with all those items clogged up, that's just more damage we're doing with Max Poltergeist. And in Expanded, with tag teams being popular, even just four trainers is 280 damage, which KOs a lot of tag team Pokemon, which is pretty cool. And one of the things I like about Chandelure, um, items in Expanded are very, very popular. You know, you got Battle Compressor, Via Seeker, Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, Trainer's Mail, Field Blower, Rescue Stretcher. Um, you know, you got Stadiums, Float Stone, other tools, lots of items clogging up the hand. And that makes it very powerful for Chandelure. So for the video, of course, I have to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to still pick up Fusion Strike codes to build all the Fusion Strike decks, because Fusion Strike packs are kind of the currency right now, get them at Car Cabin. Or Car Cabin does sell IRL Pokemon TCG singles too. So if you're looking for any of those, you can also get them over at Card Cabin. If you get anything at Card Cabin, guys, at the checkout, be sure to use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our car cabin. So, shout out to car cabin, check them out, and be sure to use code LDF. So, let's take a look at the Chandelure list I got. Now, there is another way you could play Chandelure and expand it, and that is, of course, with item lock Vile Plume. Now, my, my main issue with that deck is you item lock yourself, which means you can't play Surprise Box, which is one of the best cards Chandelure has. Surprise Box is what, in my opinion, makes Chandelure and expanded very powerful and broken. Surprise Box allows you to put a card from your opponent's discard in their hand. You can play this to give your opponent and trainer back, meaning that Surprise Box essentially gives Chandelure plus 70 damage, which is insanely powerful. That is why I prefer the Amistar build over the Vile Plume build. The Vile Plume build will trainer lock both of you as opposed to the Amistar build, which will item lock only your opponent, meaning you can still play the very powerful Surprise Box card. Now, to get Amistar in play is a little tricky. We are playing for Unidentified Fossil, where if it's in play, um, it counts as 63 basic. Unfortunately, it is not searchable with cards like Quick Ball, but we can use Greens to find it. We can go Greens, which will actually allow us to find Rare Candy Amistar on top of that. So the Greens engine is pretty good in here to help find the Rare Candy Amistar combos. And that's really the only way to put it. You could play the Research Lab combo too. That's not terrible either, but you'd have to find the stadium to make that work. Some other cool things Chandelure has is Target Whistle, which forces Pokemon on your opponent's bench, um, which can be very good to fill their bench up for Amistar if they're trying to play around it. And then a Captivating Pokepuff allows you to look at your opponent's hand and then put a Pokemon, you any number of basics you find there on their bench. So you can use Pokepuff to also allow them to walk into Chandelure's Max Poltergeist. Other stuff, I just basically clogged the deck up with uh, supporters because drawing is very important and standard and it's pretty cool in the early game end of six can be very powerful with chandelure to play aggressive and then we got marnie which can be good too especially if your opponent is playing their hand down and then of course weakness guard in the deck to allow us to have protection against water decks and expanded very important actually i'd played against quite a few water decks while trying to make this deck work then heat energy just that extra hp especially in expanded expanded is an insane format where damage output is very very crazy so heat energy can go a long way and i found it to be very useful in this deck for sure now, um, I'm not playing any copies of Giant Hearth, which you might be wondering why there's no Giant Hearth in here, but I found that it was actually helping my opponent. They can use Giant Hearth to discard items from their hand and make you do less damage. So Giant Hearth was a no-no, so I did cut that out of the deck because it was helping my opponent. Other than that, that's the list. Let's go try it out, see you in action, and hopefully win some games. All right, here we go. Trying out Chandelure, almost star here. We are going to lose the coin flip, meaning we are going to go second with the deck. No, we're going first. All right, I will totally take that since we do like going first with this deck to try to get a potential turn two Omastar on them or even a turn two Chandelure. Now, well, hopefully our mulligan doesn't give us anything super bad. We'll have to find out what we're looking at here. Oh, three surprise boxes. That's not good. Ah, right, we'll see if we can draw an N or a greens. I could potentially play all three surprise boxes next turn, depending on how my opponent draws and everything it's dragapult okay rip Waba Fett's actually terrible Waba Fett shuts off Amistar's ability so we can't item lock him hmm uh-oh I don't think this is a bad matchup but like 
Having three surprise boxes in my starting hand is not helping my case. I actually really want to get end here where we draw something because I don't like seeing the boxes here. But I we could play all three of them, though. Mind you, I'd rather use all three on the Dragapult than not the Wobbuffet. Yeah, we can play them. They did have a they had a Marnie in their hands, so they could have Marnied me here. But they chose not to. Now we'll see how this goes. Not the best start in terms of stuff. And they have an enhanced hammer. Are you kidding me? Rip my heat energy, and they're gonna Marty me. All right, well, we get to keep our surprise boxes. It's not too bad. Hopefully, we don't drop poorly here. Now we're a turn behind because of the enhanced hammer. Not good. Right, let's see what we get here. Marty into a dead hand. Now we're chilling. Heat energy, though. Not sure I want to play that. I don't know how good heat energy. Again, I don't want to get hammered again. They definitely play more than one enhanced hammer. I only have three basic fires in the deck. Maybe we can draw one. I do draw Amistar. It's not helping, though. Right, we're just going to evil wind sense here for the Shandy VMAX. Get that thing down now while we still can. And then I'm going to Cynthia. I could have actually maybe not evolved. and I could have went confused, right, if they ever attacked with Pult here, but this is fine. Just pass. Could have maybe Ultra Ball. Don't really need to grab anything. Now, we'll see if they get another enhanced hammer here on my heat energy. That would be very rude if they did. We need to get the item lock up, too. We also need them to discard more basics so I can target whistle them or something. There we go. Now Whistle's activated. Oh no, they're playing Garboder too. Oh, that's bad. That means now we can't even use Omastar's ability. Oh God. Nice. Their hand was, jeez, man, they had a good hand. All right, this is not good. Garboder is definitely not ideal for us. I don't think I even play a Field Blower in the deck. Now, the only benefit is if we can get this Wobbuffet out of the active spot, we actually can use Curse Shimmer here, which won't let them attach a tool card. So, if they don't attach a tool here, we can kill the Wobbuffet and they can't play a tool card. That's our only way to counter them. Alright, they didn't play a tool. Okay. So I can... We'll end them again. Just in case. And then I will... Yeah, where can he almost start down too while I'm at it? Nice. Okay, this is good. If we item lock him now, they can't do the uh, play. Now, unfortunately, they could have a Gus. They have not played one yet. So, honestly, I hate to say it, but I have a pretty bad feeling here that they have a Gust in their hand. I'm just going to call it. They I end them into a Gusting card. So, rip Bomb start. But we get one turn of it. I don't mind that. And we'll just... Two trainers. This should be very easy. Yeah, yeah. They don't have a Gust. Oh, they have a dead hand too. Now, they can Garboder me here for a bit of damage. It does actually hit me a little hard, but not too bad. All right, nice. That was a huge KO. All right. Now we're not in a bad spot anymore because now they're item locked. And they can't play Garboder's ability because of the item lock. So I'm not feeling too bad about our spot. Whew, that was close. We dodged a bullet. They just, if they played a tool that last turn, we would have been screwed. But they don't have Garbotoxin anyways. I'm actually surprised they're not attacking me with Trash Lanch here. To be honest. Okay. Max Phantom is a little annoying, but they do three shot on a turn. I can set up another one. So... Ooh, all right, this drag up is about to go bye-bye. All right, all right, let's go. Let's put that in the hand. We'll surprise box again. And we will give them... I have to give them enhanced hammer. I gotta give them, like, dead cards, like, if they do break the item lock. All right, then we'll Juniper. We got Pokey Puff. I'll oh, just play this now, sure. Got a KO. 70, 140, 210, 280. Yep, that's a knockout. Got him. We have one. We have two ten HP. Gar can Trash Lanch knock me out here? Two, three, four. 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Trash Lanch can't KO me, right? 20, 40, 60, 100. Yep. Can't get knocked. So he can wait a turn. Okay, cool. Bye bye, Dragapult. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Easy, easy KO. Now they could still get a boss here. Target Whistle is an insanely good prize. I was really hoping we'd find that, actually, so we can put down the Dragapult back on the bench. So, because I need to bench another Dragup. I need to bench another Chandelure here. Okay, we're keeping up. We're keeping up. They can't knock me out, I don't think. Do they have an N? Nope, just Trash Lanch. All right. Uh, do I have Guzma? I don't. Shoot. Oh, they just scoop anyways. Let's go! We beat a Dragapult deck. That, honestly, I, I don't even know if we should have won that because... Our voter Garbotoxin just destroys us, but we got lucky. They do play a lot of items too, which did help us out. You know, Fog Crystal, Treasure, Hammer, VS Seeker, not bad. All right, we'll take it. All right, trying out Chandelure again here, which we do in the coin flip, which is fantastic. Now, hopefully we don't mulligan too many times. 
Okay, and hopefully we get a good hand too. That's always a plus, getting a good start. We both mulligan, so that could help us a little bit. Um, okay, our start's not bad. Okay, they play some trainers. So it looks like they're playing a dark box deck, which is fine. We mulliganed once. Now, this is a fine hand. I can grab a fossil. If I can draw an energy, I could I could even have a turn two thing. Like, I could... If I draw a fossil, I could just have turn two Amistar right away. So we'll see if we can pop that off right away. We'll see. Because we have Confused Ray to fall back on. No. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of these two. Sorry. I don't know. Delta Ball's big discard. Grab Fossil. And then I'll pass. And then next turn, we have Amistar. We just need Rare Candy. But I'll probably have to end next turn. Not getting the energy there does suck. I would have had the um, potential turn two Max Poltergeist. We can always confuse them. They do have the attack drag off, which could be annoying too. We'll see if that becomes a factor in this matchup. They could drag off my unidentified Fossil. That's why I want to get this Malamar out of here. Three trainers would KO with Max Poltergeist. Playing Piers, yeah, they're just playing everything. Yeah, if we draw a rare candy, that'd be good. If they bench that, they can get item locked. So if I can draw a rare candy here, that would be phenomenal. But they do have drag off on my Amistar, so that could be problematic. We do get the rare candy. All right, we're chilling. So we can do that. We can do this. Do that. I'm going to end. I'm actually not going to play Chandelure because I kind of want to confuse them. And that's what I'll do. Okay. Cool. Nice. We got the item lock off. We uh, can confuse them here. Confusion item lock is a pretty good combo um, at the moment to kind of slow them down. So when you don't have that like immediate turn to Max Poltergeist, this is a pretty good follow up plan is to confuse item lock them, which now they are stuck. They could still flip heads on confusion, which would be annoying. I also don't want them to bring my Amistar in, but we'll see. Unless I draw a Guzma or I find a Floatstone. Ninja Boy. Okay. Sh they fail it. I guess they just played it to burn an item or a trainer. Interesting. They don't attack. All right. So they just kind of stay there. So let's have main puff. We can see their hand. Oh, they got a bunch of items. Let's go. The item lock did damage. Um, they are going to be able to play their items next turn, though, if I knock them out. Hmm. Fine. I'm going to Cynthia and then try to get some more stuff here. Well, that was a very bad Cynthia. Or maybe should have just junipered. Yikes. All right. We can knock him out. Or at least hit them for 116. Not knock them out. I thought we had a KO. We were not quite there. That was a bad Cynthia. Again, they are still item locked. We need them to bench more Pokemon. If I KO the Malamar, they can bench another. They they can they're out of item lock, so we have to let them No, they hit the drag off. Shoot. Well, my Amistar is dead unless I draw a floatstone, which I don't, but I draw an N. Put one energy here and then N, just so we don't draw it. And we'll hopefully find a floatstone here. Do we find a float? We do not. They're probably going to KO me, and the item lock is going to get broken. Dang it. That sucks. That's fine, though. To be fair, they have to come with Greninja Zoark, which we could KO, so I'm actually not too worried. We could still KO this Greninja Zoark. We can just establish another Amistar, I guess. Greninja Zoark, 250 HP. Um, Four trainers. We have two surprise box in our hand, plus their item locked. Plus, they're probably going to get a prize here. So, at the end of the day, we're still going to get them. Oh, they're going to max jammer me. That's fine. Now, I just KO Malamar, VMAX, and Greninja Zork to win. So, this actually kind of plays fine into our favor. They are going to get rid of the item lock. Now, that does suck. And I have to get another one going. Thankfully, I have a Via Seeker and a Juniper in my hand. So, that kind of saves me there. They're probably going to go... Best thing they could do is put a surprise box at the bottom of the deck. No, Via Seeker. That's fine. Because we're just going to Juniper anyways. And we should probably KO the Malamar. We have to KO this to win. Ooh, that's another rare candy. It's fine. Do this. Do this. I can probably KO them with Baby Chandelure, but I need to go VMAX so I don't get killed by the Greninja Zork. Do I get the VMAX? I don't. I do get the Fossil, though, which is still good. It's not the worst hand ever, but... Oh, they scooped! Oh, never mind! They scooped. All right, I'll take it. All right, we get to go first here. My opponent is very kind. But going first and expanded can be good and bad. And there's a mulligan. Oh, no. Hopefully, we don't mulligan too many times. All right, what are we looking at here? How many mulligans did we take? What's our hand looking like? 
Mulligan seven times. Oh no, that's good and bad. Again, it can it can be sometimes good to mulligan, but it can be bad, especially in expanded when it's all about getting massive hands. Mulliganing that many times can actually backfire. We have end though, it's not too bad. We need to draw a fossil here. Water deck. Uh oh. Watch, watch out. Water decks aren't that bad. Again, thanks to the two weakness guards, and uh, it's not too bad. I am including a stream match I got against a uh, Intellion VMAX deck. It was a very crazy game. Um, and it was a water deck. But yeah, weakness card energy is just too good in here. Are they playing Lapras? Are they even playing an expanded deck? I don't even think they are. They only get one basic here. Fine. They get Lapras. Can't even attack with it. I'm a whack your snom. There's Shandy. Put that down right away. And then I'm going to Ultra Ball here. We'll have to end them. Grab another Chandelure. Then I will end them here and hopefully find some stuff. Fossil would be good. No. That sucks. No fossil. We do get an energy though, which is good. We'll put that on. Quick ball this away. Grab Chandelure. Oh, no, no. None left. Got all our fossils. We might not need Amistar in this matchup. We'll see how it goes. They need one item. There's like a 0%. Yeah, I was going to say. They can't attack this turn. So we got an extra turn of Chandelure. I need to get a weakness card energy on it though. That's a Guzma. I could Guzma the Lapras, maybe. Um, if I could draw a float. Probably just Juniper, though. I have to probably Juniper here. I mean, even if I get a, even if I get a weakness guard, Lapras can still KO me. And they're playing a standard deck and expanded. Like, what do you expect? I don't get it. Hmm. No weakness guard. Alright, we're gonna have to wait till the next Chandelure then to do that. Let's do this. Give him Bucket. Don't have a choice. Then our Juniper. And then hopefully we get some good stuff. There's Fossil. Target Whistle's good. Gen I, can, I, can, I can actually save it. I have the rare Candy Amistar. I think I'd rather save the hand just Max Poltergeist for the KO. They'll KO me. But I can KO them back, hopefully, if all goes well. Um not they don't Marty me here, we can still KO them. If the actually, if they don't knock me out this turn, I'm gonna be feeling really good. So there's the research. They lose a lot of energy. That is really good. They are down to seven energy. That might help us. Like, if they just do body surf, all we have to do is just knock out... Well, uh, actually, yeah. If they body surf here, that is perfect. Because all we have to then do is knock out one more Lapras to win the game. So if they body surf, I get a prize. All I have to do is KO a VMAX to win. And if once they KO Chandelure, they get three prizes, which could be three trainer cards. As long as they don't KO me this turn, we should be okay to maybe win the game. Not looking good, though. We can still kill them this turn, though, if we really have to. If I can draw an Amistar here or Weakness Guard Energy, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, perfect. All right, we should get a prize this turn, right? They have to go Eldegoss. Yep. So if we get a prize here, we just got to kill the VMAX to win. So that should just be game. So, I mean, at this point, we don't really even need the, uh, the stuff. So let's go Target Whistle. Put that into play. And then for now, I'll go Ultra Ball here. Almost star. I'm going to item lock them. Just to make it harder for them to attack me. Especially because they don't have an air balloon in play yet. Well, they can't play one anyways, but still. They do have two Marnie in their hand. That's fine. I actually don't care if they Marnie me here. Other than losing Surprise Box. We'll knock them out. And we'll see where that takes us. So they're going to Marnie me. But I'm going to KO them right back. We got the item lock off, so they cannot play items at the moment either, which can be very tough for my opponent. I don't know, this Marnie could be bad. This is my last surprise box, I think. Right? No, still have two left. I bet worst case scenario, they kill me with this, actually, and then I can't KO this. But if I get a weakness card energy on, I don't have to worry about it. I probably should have actually target whistled the Snomin play, not the Gossip play. That was actually a misplay. Okay. Got Juniper. I got Guzma. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, that was a misplay. You know, I should have put the Gossifler. Or I put the Snom in play, not the Eldegoss. Okay. They're going to stay in the active. So I can win this turn. I just need to get Weakness Guard Energy to help us out. Or I just hope that they hit the... They discard a lot of stuff. All right, here we go. I can also Float Stone. I could try to, like, Confuse Ray. I don't know. We'll see. So... I got a Juniper. The problem with this is our deck is not shuffled, so this we have one surprise box at the bottom of the deck. 
And I'm going to need both surprise boxes here. But I have to Juniper. I have to just go all in. We need either a weakness card energy or just something else. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, no. They most likely have boss too in hand. Oh, God. Well, that was a bust. Both weakness cards are in the deck. We only had one surprise box. Still a comp search. Oh, no. That was a terrible, terrible draw. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. I I could retreat in a chandelure. They probably have boss in hand for game anyways. I think we just got to hope we have the KO here. I don't think I have much of a choice. I don't think we have a knockout, but you never know. They are item locked. We do have the KO. Let's go, Amistar, for the win. Oh, my God. That was so close. That was so close. That was a huge whiff there, not having the, um, not having the weakness card energy and not having the surprise box. Whew, what a scary game there. Anyways, I'm going to wrap the video of those three games. I do have a really good stream match I got versus an Inteleon VMAX deck and Expanded. Um, it was a very good match. Kind of showed off how powerful surprise box Chandelure really is. But I have a few things I can open up. I can open up that rare chest and a Fusion Strike pack here to end off today's expanded video with those games. So as you can see, this deck does have potential as a pretty cool combo. It's a very good combo. Chandelure and Expanded, honestly, just it seems so cool with all of the support it has. Um, I mean, you could try with Vile Plume if you really wanted to. I'm not sure Vile Plume is really all that good, though. Again, item locking yourself is not good. Chandelure, in my opinion, works the best thanks to Surprise Box. I think it's one of the best things about it. I don't think I would play that. Anyways, what do you think we're going to get? Are we going to get a bad hollow or will we get a good playable card? We get a reverse hall Gardevoir. Not terrible. It's not, not the worst card on the planet. Um, but that is it for the video, guys, on the um, on the Chandelure Amistar deck and Expanded. Definitely some changes can be made. You could tweak around the supporter count a little bit. Um, I find that this deck might brick a lot. So adding a couple more draw supporters wouldn't be bad. You could go down to two greens if you wanted to. Um, again, greens is just not the greatest card in the world, especially in the late game where it's completely useless. But that's why we can always quick ball, ultra ball, thin them out when we need them. Overall, the deck is pretty fun to play. I think Chandelure and Expanded does have potential as a pretty powerful deck. You just got to figure out how to really make this deck operate. If you guys can tweak the list any way you want, definitely try it out. But yeah, the idea of playing Chandelure with Amistar and with surprise box is just too good to pass up i think chandelier surprise box is just too good of a combo not to be broken so definitely give the deck a try i hope you guys enjoyed the stream match that i got for you guys thanks for watching if you guys are new to the channel subscribe down below help me on the road to reaching 23k subs we are less than 500 subscribers off of 23k subs so if you have not subbed to the channel yet make sure to do so leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching check out car cabin down below use code all the f check out my twitch down below follow that help me reach 5,000 followers check out my twitter down below check out my discord server and i'll catch you guys on another pdc joe video peace out bye bye somebody if somebody clips that i can put it on twitter that was a, that was just the funny that was that was an insane moment that'd be on your youtube video maybe I don't like showing games against, like, decks that aren't super competitive in my videos, but that might be just too good of a moment not to include, to be honest. Okay. We need to find a supporter here and a weakness card energy. We can get there, okay. They're both in there. You will. Big Brain Fury, the biggest of brains. What do you mean, Binder Drop, Butterfree, VMAX is a meta? They dropped that weakness card energy on me. I actually thought I was going to lose. That That's the best sun I've ever seen in my life. That is literally the worst great sun. Okay. That's not a good... Ah, we got the energy. We didn't get any supporters, though. It's fine. We're going to draw one. We are not going to draw one. Hmm. Uh, do I evolve? I have to evolve, right? Because they're gonna KO me if they they can they can turn the energy. They don't have me for weakness though, so we don't have to evolve. But we can knock them out if we evolve. So we evolve, yeah. We always evolve. We can potentially KO them here. Oh, let's go. The evolve work, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, see, they're playing items. This is a normal expanded deck with items. And trainers. Yeah, aggro Chandelure might be better than... 
might be better than Bioplume. Uh, the Bioplume's cute, but I don't know. It probably wasn't good enough. It was cute. But like half the games, if I don't get it, if I don't get a supporter, I just lose. Yeah, I think the, I don't know. The problem with this build is you can get donked. Which isn't very poggers. Hopefully they don't play any energy removal. I have her candy. I just need to draw Amistar here and I can get the Amistar in play. All right. They have net in their hand. We know that much. They have an insane hand, actually. Can Shandy beat Inteleon? Find out next time on another episode of the Expanded Format Ladder. Okay. I need a support. Yeah, I could probably put Welder in here. I don't think I play Welder. I don't know if we need it, though. Okay, that's fine. What do we draw? That's not fine. Damn. Okay, well... Yeah, we're still hitting some. Ah, that's fine. That we're still two KOing them. I'll take it. They don't have a melon either. Yo, thank you for the fall there, Kilo. I appreciate that. Yeah, they have no melon play. Perfect. Can you please do streams at this time. It's hard to do them because it's midnight for me. Usually at this time, if I'm not already in during a during a stream, I'm probably in bed. Um, right. I usually I try to stream in the evening, Eastern Standard Time, like six seven ish. Um, unless I'm in a tournament. No problem. Yeah, it's all good. But, I mean, Kami had a good night, right? I'm doing a longer stream just because I haven't streamed re at all this week, so. Okay. I, I The fact that we're still putting up this much of a fight when we're, like, when we have been dead drawing is actually pretty a testament to how good Chandelure could be in Expanded when you play against a deck with a lot of trainers in it. I will say that. It's a testament. Yeah, it's a testament to how broken this deck could really be. Yeah, I appreciate that, Kyogre. Okay. Best top deck here would be still a, still an Amistar. Oh, no. Can they KO me this turn? No, there's no way. And before they play Hammer. They hammer me, they can knock me out. Appreciate the support there, Kyogre. Oh, they're just standing. Yeah, see, bro, we needed Amistar. Look at that. Now they have no trainers in their hand. They could take out my Fossil, though, with Max Bullet, which actually could make a big difference here. Nope. How much HP do we have? 40. Ooh, the surprise box. I mean, that might save us here. What do I give them? There's... <laughs> bro, none of these trainers I want to give them. There's literally not a single trainer I want to give him here. Thanks for the fall there, Vortex. Bruh. I guess we'll give them Guzma. I don't know. You're heading out? Alright, peace out. Please have a KO. Let's go! Alright, let's go. Now, they can KO me with another Inteleon V, but that's fine. Greens is phenomenal. Okay, as long as we don't get end of one, we can still win this game. If we don't get end of one here, we can still win. Because we can still go box, greens, box. Yeah, that's, okay, we can win. We could also just take out a Drizzile or something. Let's go. It, Chandelure, the fact that we won without playing a... Well, I'm not going to jump the gun, but the fact that we are close to this close to winning... Without even playing a single um, supporter, basically, is insane. Okay, you know what? If they bench a Sobble here, we can just go Guzma, most likely, for game. Speaking of Guzma. Fine. Got the heat energy on, baby. Not even a problem. Okay. They get two prizes, so... Uh, hmm. We just have to Guzma here and just hope they have something in their hand. Easy enough. As long as they have one trainer here, we win the game.
They need one other trainer in their hand. Come on, bro. Let's do it. The most epic win of all time. Let's go! GG's! Let's go! We did... Bro, we played one supporter that entire match. That's a testament to Chandelure Surprise Box. See, that... See, that's why Chandelure Surprise Box is... Heat Energy absolutely carried us, by the way. I don't think we would have won that without Heat Energy. And Weakness Card, obviously.